Hello, it's Helder here, and today I want to talk to you about this new chisel attachment that I just picked up for my Wicked Edge sharpener. I've been using the Wicked Edge products over the last couple years and have had great success sharpening most of my blades, most of my knives. But as most of you know, when it comes to chisels, it's uh, relatively tough to bring them back to life, so to speak. And in the past, I would pretty much scrap them and go out there and get a new set which of course is a complete waste. So when I saw that Wicked Edge was now offering this uh, attachment, I wanted to get my hands on it and see if it'll actually do the job. So I've been playing around with this attachment over the past week, and now I want to go ahead and share some of my findings on this chisel attachment. This chisel attachment is fairly easy to install, which of course is a plus. Basically the jaws will go towards the right, and the hollow X key insert goes towards you. This will work on any of the Wicked Edge sharpener models. Fairly simple, just place it here into the vise, nice and flat, clamp it down, and you're good to go. Now this chisel adapter holds up to a four inch wide blade. To install it, you have a bit of a foot plate here on the bottom, and there is a thumb screw here. What you wanna do is unscrew it counterclockwise, Bring that little foot plate out and screw it back down. Now from here, go ahead and take the chisel, rest it down as long as it's wide enough here for your chisel. If not, you'd go ahead and open it up to make it a little bit wider. And since I already opened it up, what I'm doing here is resting it on this stop plate. I'm gonna go ahead and just hold it there. Take the uh, hex key that came with the chisel adapter and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down. Turning it clockwise, making sure that it's secure in there. I tighten it, but of course I don't over, over tighten it. Knowing that it's in there, it's not going anywhere. From here, you wanna go ahead and unscrew that plate again, recess the plate down, and screw it back in so that the chisel end here is exposed. Now from here, I draw a little line with my Sharpie right on the edge so that then I could go ahead and find the right angle to sharpen this chisel. I explained the uh, magic marker tip in a bit more detail in my first review, so be sure to check that out if you need more information. Using a finer stone here, just so I don't take too much out and just make sure that my angle is correct, seeing if that Sharpie ink actually comes off. And I had set this up previously, so I knew it was going to come off and got the right angle for my chisel. Since this set of chisels was in pretty bad shape, I'm going ahead and starting with the lowest grit that I have here on 100 just to take all those burrs and the mess that's there. And you can tell by that sound that it's rough. And basically all I'm doing is, after I set the angle, put in my stone, know that I have the right angle set, and I'm just kind of working it, considering that uh, this is only about a half inch chisel. I can kind of just work it up and down because my stone is a bit wider than that. But of course, when I was using, let's say my one inch chisel, I kind of had to work it a little bit back and forth, side to side. Once again, let the stone do the work and just guide it up and down. Okay, so I've been working that for a few minutes on that 100 grit. And as you can tell, it's bringing that edge back to life. All right, time to go over to a higher grit, switching from the 100 to a 200. Okay, so worked that a while. Time to go up to a higher grit, switching over to the 400. Remember, these are in pretty bad shape, so it's definitely taken me a lot longer putting a lot more sweat equity in than I usually do with my regular knives. And once you use this tool for a while, you start feeling when it's okay to switch over to a higher grit, and I'm there right about now. So switching over to the 600. And just like even with your blades, uh, usually the first couple stones are the ones that I spend the most time in or invest the most time in. And then as you start going up, it just becomes a little bit easier and uh, less time consuming. Okay, so that's about it with the 600 and pretty much for the purpose of chisels, I would think that uh, we'd be pretty much good to go there. 
but for the purpose of this review and since I have the higher grit stone here might as well just uh, give a few passes with the 800 and with the 1000 grit. Switch over to the 1000. Feeling nice and smooth already. Working it through. And we should be good to go here. So now as far as getting your chisel out, Go ahead, get your hex key, insert it in, hold on to your chisel, turn it to the left to loosen it, and pull it right out. I don't know if the camera will do it justice, but heck of a difference from what the thing looked like before. It's actually serviceable and usable again. I do want you to keep in mind that I am no expert by any means in this. I've been playing around with this for a week, so I still have a bit of a learning curve, but so far I'm incredibly impressed with the results, and I think that you will be too. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a chisel sharpener, especially if you already own a Wicked Edge sharpener, definitely take a look at this chisel attachment. I'm glad that I have it as part of my gear, and I look forward to having wickedly sharp chisels for the rest of my life.